A couple of weeks ago, I tried taking a look at the Falcon web browser, which is a Snap-based browser for KDE, and unfortunately it did not work very well. However, I have resolved my problems with Snap now in KDE Neon, which is based on Ubuntu 16.04, and things are working. The problems I faced were in a Kubuntu 17.10, so maybe there were just some issues specifically with that distribution. But anyway, I have the browser working, and I can take a look at it. It uses the Blink engine and is based on a fork of Chromium. As you can see, there's a lot of branding about Coopzilla. Well, this is what the browser used to be known as, so Falcon is now the new name for Coopzilla. So those simple bookmarks work okay, and going to home just takes you to this Coopzilla search on web, and these search results are provided by DuckDuckGo. Ah, so we've gone for the privacy option, have we? And the same for the default search there in the top right-hand side, also DuckDuckGo. The Find Me. Ah, I've got some of my videos in YouTube and my website. So let's open the website up in New Tab and just open a YouTube video. So the week of Linux news, Equihacks. So the video is playing perfectly fine and I can hear it, but you may not be able to hear it on the microphone because it is very good and doesn't take much from the PC speakers. So that's good there. Oh, and I've just passed 40,000 subscribers, I noticed. So yay, getting there in the end. <laughs> That took a while though, since since things seem to have slowed down lately. Looking at my website, well, doing a right click and you can see a feature here, Adblock. So there is Adblock built into the browser. Now what is really annoying here is it keeps moving the windows open to the other monitor. I have tried forcing it and it just is so stubborn. But okay, we have Adblock built in and we'll give that a bit of a test run later on. That's come as pre-set up, so I didn't have to do anything. There's also some more settings there on the right-hand side, so I can just go to Tools and get the Ad Block and Cookie Manager. Let's take a look at the Cookie Manager, which is once again on the wrong monitor. Ah, yes, that was some sites I was testing yesterday. So you can do cookie filtering, whitelist and blacklist and settings, allow storing of cookies. Uh, let's try filter tracking cookies. What I was going to do on my website was right click and go show source code. And I know this is pretty simple really, yeah, there's actually nothing much to this home page, but we can see that the code is colored. So yeah, makes it a bit easier to read. We can click on some of these links and it takes us to oh, a new tab. And even opens up specific images. Another option on right clicking is show info about site. Does the wrong monitor again. Going across the media and you can download or view specific images from the page. A bit of a handy feature that sometimes if you ever come across a website that tries disabling right clicking or disables downloading of images. Well guess what your browser has downloaded them and you can acquire them this way. So, save an image. Ah, yes, uh, I did try this yesterday. I did actually do a video of this yesterday, but uh, I had a bit of an issue, so I thought I would reshoot this. So, places home folder. So, it says home folder, but that is not my home folder. But, can I get to my home folder? It appears so. So, downloads, and yeah, I'll put it here. So, has it saved to my downloads folder? Yes, it has. So we're not entirely confined to a sandbox and we can save certain files in other folders. So I'm going to try and go on to something like the daily fail, I mean the daily mail, so that will give us an idea of how good the advert blocking is. To put daily mail in, see where it takes us. Ah yes, yeah, so we get the search results and I can go across to the first result, which is the daily fail. Daily mail, I keep calling it the wrong name, don't I? Whoops, my mistake entirely. Oh, let's see. Revealed what your sleeping position says about you and <laughs> boring. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't appear to be uh, much in the way of adverts there on the page. Interesting. <laughs> so the advert blocking is working, isn't it? Yes, very much absent of adverts. And what about the number of cookies that have come down? So cookie manager, a couple of tracker cookies there. Uh, some more tracker cookies, uh, lots of tracker cookies, a horrific amount of tracker cookies.
filter tracking cookies. Loads on there. Let's see how many it does load. Delete them all, refresh the page. And how many come back? That lot. <laughs> Bloody joke. Okay, so the filtering of tracking cookies doesn't seem to be that thorough. And there isn't a way of blocking third party cookies. That's annoying. I'm going to show you one other annoying thing I noticed. So I was browsing the internet with no track disabled. So now I'm going to enable it. And now see what happens. As a starter for 10, I could remove all the cookies again and refresh the page for the Daily Mail. And we have SSL certificate errors. Yes, I accept that. I'm using a self-signed certificate on no track. What is annoying though, is it keeps asking. Oh, and I've got to love how the page is HTTP and still throws that error. Okay, so a few less cookies there. Makes me think that I should add a few more sites into no track though. Hmm. So annoyingly, I'll keep getting this error about the SSL certificates. Yes, I would like to make an exception, but it's so vague, it's not telling me any further information. That's pretty poor, really. And I've just had to say yes twice on that page. Despite the fact if I click on the certificate information there in the address bar, so it said it's the first visit to the site, and that's not really much information about the cookie, other than it's saying the connection is encrypted. Okay, that's an issue of how I'm using my equipment, but Chrome doesn't have that same issue, and I don't think Chromium does either, so that's something different in Falcon. Let's finish up with a quick look through the preferences. So the appearance, so there's a few different themes. I notice it does not respect the system theme, which currently on my system is set to a dark color. You've got some different behaviors on tabs. On the browsing side, you can disable flash plugin and JavaScript. You can change the font, a couple of keyboard shortcuts, the default download location, allow saving of passwords from sites, there's links to the cookie manager, which we've already seen, uh, and the settings for JavaScript and HTML5. The option to send do not track headers to servers, and that is disabled by default. Not that many sites seem to respect that. The options on notifications, extensions, a spell checker, enable spell check, but no languages are found. So that doesn't appear to be able to use the system dictionary. And the other options, languages for websites, the user agent, and search engines. So the user agent, by default, does identify it as a Falcon. So you can change to a different user agent. So we can have Opera, Chrome, Safari, and Firefox. That was a look at the Falcon web browser. I do like the concept of it, using a browser in a sandboxed environment, because there are a lot of attacks against a browser. So hopefully that could shield you from more like the second stage exploits where they're going to try and gain persistence on the system. But in terms of usability, well, that's just really annoying about the SSL certificate that it keeps asking every single time. And the trouble is that's displaying for the background trackers, of which there can be quite a few on each website. And it's also a shame about the options on cookies. So yes, it does claim to suppress the tracking cookies, but in practice, it's not 100%. I have a bit more of a neutral opinion on it containing an ad blocker. Personally, I would prefer it to be disabled by default, but at least provide the option of enabling it. And that was a look at Falcon. It's still in development at the moment, so hopefully things will improve later on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.